Windows 10 now has an easy way to choose which optional updates uh, you would like to install. Uh, many people believe that um, if they have automatic updates on, which is the default these days for Windows 10, that all updates are always coming in. But that's not true. There are optional updates uh, that you need to manually push through. So let's take a peek at that. If we click on the Start button and click on the Settings icon, and go to Update and Security. Make sure you're on the Windows Update selection on the left here. And we now have this area here, uh, View Optional Updates. So if we click there, we have this selector here, the, the little arrow pointing to the right. You need to click on that. It's a bit counterintuitive, I think, but click on that and it will show you the list. And then you can go ahead and check off any updates, optional updates that you would like to immediately install. And then click on download and install. All right. Um, on some computers, you may find a lot of hardware related uh, optional updates. Uh, you may want to consider instead of grabbing hardware updates, and, and by hardware I mean uh, the drivers for hardware, like uh, you know, drivers for your your sound card or your video card, that kind of thing, for your printer. Instead of grabbing them here through uh, Windows Update, uh, it might be a better idea. I think it would generally be a better idea to go directly to the manufacturer site and get the updates from there. The the I have found that the Microsoft uh, hardware driver updates aren't always perfectly or properly matched with the hardware. Uh, so you're better off, you know, identifying what hardware you have and uh, say, for example, it's an HP printer and Microsoft is offering you an update for your HP printer driver. Uh, better to go to the HP site, type in the model number of your printer uh, in their download drivers area and grab the latest driver from there. And of course, uh, the update I chose here is uh, downloading and updating. We won't watch that all the way to completion, but as you can see, the process has started and eventually the machine will want to restart. Uh, once that's done, the update will be complete.